So in this video, I'm going to explain gain staging in FL Studio. I'm gonna explain what it is and why you should do it. And then, it's, and then also I'm going to show how to do it in FL Studio 20. So what is gain staging? Gain staging is basically when you lower the volume at its root source in order to have a non-clippy, non-clipped or better sound going into the mixer. And then, and then when it gets to the mastering process, so you're basically, it's basically a technique for creating the best possible sound with the sounds that you have. So this is a great technique even for beginners to pick up. And I'm just gonna show you what it is. It's gonna make a lot more sense when you actually see it and I walk through the parts, but gain staging is essentially mixing and leveling in the essentially channel rack before you go into the mixer. So the sounds, I would look at FL like a funnel. It, go, it, starts, it starts here. It starts here and it starts here in the individual actual sounds, like the kick, uh, snare, you know, melody, whatever. It starts here, it starts at these knobs, it starts at these volume knobs, and then it goes into here, it goes into the mixer, and it'll go through here, and then it'll go through here, the actual knob here, and then it goes here. So it's like a funnel. So you wanna keep the funnel clean. You don't want it to clip before it's getting into the mixer. That's like the biggest thing. You don't want it to clip and you want to leave room to add mixing effects. So for instance, if I want to boost the kick up and I want to like turn, say the low end up of the kick with like a parametric EQ2, like so, um, you know, you want it, you want the volume of the kick to be low enough before it goes into the mixer so it doesn't clip. And you want to avoid clipping at all costs. Clipping before you go into the mixer, clipping after you get in the mixer. No clipping ever. And clipping is basically when the sound goes over 0 0.00 dB. You can see up here the 0 0.00 dB. Um, you basically want to keep, visually speaking, you don't want it to ever pass 0 dB. So about here. You never want it to pass 0 dB. And to be safe, I say minus 0 0.03 dB. And that leaves enough room so, so you know it's not going to go over. But part of gain staging is knowing what sound you want to to be the most present. Oftentimes in rap, hip hop, that's the kick. Uh, that's the kick, could be the 808. It, it, it depends on what you want. Depends on what type of sound you want to be like the main featured sound of the track. Uh, a lot of times for me, it's the kick. I, uh, I think kick is like essential. Um, kick is a classic, kick is a classic. So like what I would do is I would lower the all the other sounds so the kick can stand out before it even goes into the mixer. So, so it just maintains that uh, that level, if you will. So, let's let me just show you gain staging. So here it is in the mixer, right? All right let's actually turn it off here. Well, you see how if I put this on, now it's clipping. Bad, right? We want it to not clip, but still have that thump effect, right? So, here's how it's looking before it even goes in the mixer, and this actually probably is quiet enough, but. Uh, again, we want to leave room for the mixing effects if I still want to add that thump. So I'll, I'll take it down to like minus 0.8 to minus 8 dB. And you can adjust the volume here or here. And for the melody, you would adjust it you, you would adjust it in the actual VST. Now I did test this. I recommend lowering the volume knob in the actual VST versus here. I think it does make a slight sound difference. So, um, let's lower it here and let's lower the snare too. So this is at 0.88 dB. So this would be at least like point, maybe 8.5. And we already kind of lowered these, this earlier. I did have to lower it here just because the, these sounds are mixed differently. Like this one has a higher volume, this one has a lower volume, but basically, all right. So. We lowered the volume here. Okay. Okay. Who's with me? Who's with me? Now we can add more sounds. We can still have that thump. It did not clip here. Although it's dangerously close. So you're probably like, what are these knobs for then, right? if we're not using them for volume. So you can use these as volume, but I would use it as like a last resort. Like if I'm car testing or I'm just testing like just the speakers or whatever, uh, it, it can be really useful to just lower it here because it just it's just gonna save you a lot of time. You don't always have that time and effort to go back and then lower all the knobs and then readjust that way, readjust the other sounds. It can get kind of complicated when you do it that way. So um, 
Yeah, that's what really that's for. So that's a really clean sound. You see how clean that is? Versus like if it's clipping. So it still has the thump. Still has the thump, but um, the melody is kind of loud. I'd probably turn the, the volume down even more here. Let's just cheat and do it here. 60. And what I'll do is I'll usually copy this just so we have the same mix, like in case I mixed the two sounds in the actual VST differently, which I did here. See how this one's like, like I said, this one says 19. This one's actually at uh, 40. So it'd be like that. So I just like copied the value too. So again, instead of going here and turning the melody down here, we're turning it down here so it doesn't clip. No clipping. That's some good old mastering right there, baby. And it just adds like a really professional sound to your beats. Like that is like literally pro level stuff right there. But it's also something beginners can grasp and get. Um, and let me just like talk about this more just so like hopefully you get it by the end of the video. I'm not going to spend too much time. But like basically, again, you know, you're, you're lowering the root sound. You're lowering the root sound, which is essentially the channel rack, the knobs in the channel rack. This knob for drums, it's this knob. And then this knob. This knob is for stereo separation. It's not right you're lowering it here before it gets in the mixer you don't want it to clip before it goes in the mixer that's like the biggest thing so like if 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 your kick is already clipping it's already past zero db here that's very bad lower it lower it especially if you don't even have the mixer mixing stuff on you see that's kind of like weak sauce but we want the mixer mixing items so we can actually add some thump to it, like a clean, nice little thump. Sounds really good, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, and same thing with all the other sounds. So the snare, the kick, notice how I, want, I don't want the melody so loud, so I'm going to turn it down in here. I'm going to turn it down here, and we want it to, again, you want to level in here, essentially. You want, you want it to be lower in here, so by the time it gets here, you can add effects. And usually effects turn things up, so you want to leave room... You want to leave room for the effects. That's like really what you're doing. You're leaving room for the effects. And mixing, mixing, these are the effects. Mixing is effects. Mastering is like, <laughs> oh my gosh, mixing and mastering. Just like the difference between the two is, will give you a headache. Um, mastering, right? Master. But that's ha that's a way to master, getting that master sound. But it's also mixing. I, I literally argued with a guy on Reddit about this. And I was like, this is just like... I can't believe somebody's actually arguing me about that. And um, but he was so serious and like he was like, no, he's like it's mastering. Like how? He was like he, he was like he was like you're a rookie for saying it's or he was like really talking trash, which happens a lot honestly, uh, for whatever reason. Um, it it didn't never happen when the channel was small, but that's a part of it's a part of doing big things, baby. You get criticized a lot, and uh, you also get criticized doing little things. But anyways. So he was really having a real fit about it. And I was like, it's it's mixing. Like, uh, it involves the mixer. You do it because of the mixer. It's mixing. Mixing and mastering. Mastering and mixing. It's like so confusing for really something that isn't confusing. Like, mastering is a part of mixing, but mixing is, has mastering parts in it. They're like twins, you know? They're like inseparable twins. Um conjoined twins what do you call those conjoined twins i i'm a conjoined twin actually it's just my other you know how that'd be um anyways so yeah lower the volume before it gets into the mixer level it here lower it here have it go into here without clipping and remember it's going to go through here first and then here so even if you lower it here it's still clipping it's still clipping that original sound even if if, if it's like red here and you lower it down here it's still clipping that original sound if you if you if it's already clipping before you get in here then you put like one of these tools like soft clipper or whatever on it's still clipping it's still clipping before it goes into here so you know and that just produces when you don't 
when you do it the proper way and you avoid clipping at every stage, it gives you the most clear sound. So it's like a filter. It's just like a filter. Like you just don't want to, you don't, you want each, want it to go cleanly through each stage. And that's like the key to gain staging. That was pretty good in ending right there. I think, I think that made a lot of sense. So I'll try to make another video if this one is still confusing. It's it is, it can be kind of a complicated thing to grasp. I could understand, um, but I, I gave it my best go. I really tried with this video. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I really put in a hard shift on this one. Um, that's it for this video, guys. Oh yeah, make sure you guys check out the How to Make Beats book brought to you by Sly Green Beats, available on Amazon's. Yeah, baby, cop the book, baby, cop the book. Sly Green Beast, one time for the grind, baby. Peace out.